rookie just filmed the whole intro and didn't record it. So some of you may know that I've been running my own video production business for the last three and a half years now. Um, and in that time, you know, I've, I've started out with essentially nothing and slowly built my way up. I think I started on a 7D, Canon 7D, moved up to a 5D Mark II, then to a 5D Mark III, and then I had, had an opportunity to move into Canon Cinema range and the C100 Mark I came up. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be able to jump on that at a great price. Um, and I think since then, jumping into that that next level of camera, um, my work's you know kind of gone up to that next level. And my workflow and kind of how I, I make videos has changed a lot since when I first started. And then again, I had another opportunity to upgrade to a C100 Mark II, which for me at the time was absolutely crazy. Like I'd never spent that amount of money on one bit of gear before. It was, it was literally like an investment of buying a car or something. And I had to ask myself whether this was the right place to actually invest a, a large chunk of the income that I was making from doing videos or whether, you know, I would hold it back and save up something more or there's, there's so many things that run through your head when you're upgrading equipment and stuff like, do you need it? Do I not need it? What's the right gear? Is this the right decision? You know, am I, should I change my equipment altogether? Should I go to a different manufacturer? You know, these have all gone through my head. Unfortunately, right now, I'm actually in a position to upgrade my camera to what essentially is my dream camera. Um, when I first started this, all the stuff that's in this camera was absolutely unheard of. Now, if you wanted this stuff in a camera, you had to spend you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. But now, like the, the stuff that you can get in these packages and for the price that you get it for is, it is crazy. Like it is actually crazy that, to think that back in the day, you know, I spent so much money on all this equipment that, that you know, your phone does better quality stuff than, than my equipment back in the days. And so I wanted to share it with you guys because it's obviously a massive achievement for me, but at the same time, it's also shows that if you put in the hard work, if you learn the skills and you put yourself out there, that you too can actually do this as well. So with that being said, the camera that I bought is this. Thank you, Freebie. <laughs> it has arrived oh, earlier than I expected. I now have to go through my whole day and not play with this and actually do some work. So that's frustrating, but so I went with trusty. What's up guys, Andrew Ref here. And on today's video, I'm actually gonna show you my dream camera. It is literally just there, just there outside of the frame touch it right now but you don't know what it is so get keen for that but first if you're new here this channel is all about teaching you the necessary skills you need to go full time with your filmmaking and start crushing in the market so if that's something you're into then make sure you press the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single time i release a new video so we're rambling on long enough so let's get straight into it the camera that i decided to go with was the c200 from canon um, been using the C100s for a while and love them, so this is kind of just like the next step up. Um, but yeah, let's rip into it and see what we got. Yeah. Yeah, spare battery. Oh, I'm just going to the box is so big. Wait, hang on, do we, what, do we want good lighting for this? Hang on, the extension cord. Let's <laughs> do this. Okay, well, half the boxes <laughs> for the manual. Man, they could really do with some uh, some packing advice. Not gonna lie. Handle power cables. That's to attach the uh, the monitor, which is pretty exciting. Uh, monitor mount somewhere on there, and the monitor. Bam. Now, a lot of you know that all my commercial stuff I actually shoot on a C100. A lot of the stuff on this channel, I shoot on a C100 Mark One and Mark II as well. So the reason I've gone with the C200 over a lot of the other competitors, and there's a lot of other cameras out there, but since starting in the uh, Canon Cinema range, C100s, I've absolutely fallen in love with just the way everything works, the way that the cameras are set up, the, you know, the sense of the image quality that comes out of it, you know, all the buttons, how they're set up, the files that come out of it, 
you know, how, how everything links together, you know, your XLR inputs, all that kind of stuff. And I was looking at upgrading my C100 Mark I to a Mark II, just so they're kind of on the same thing. There's a few things about the C100 Mark II that are, I think are a step above the Mark I, like the articulating screen. File formats, you can do an MP4 out as well as an ABC HD. Um, I use MP4 just because I find that it's a sharper format. And you can also do 60p rather than the kind of 60i that you kind of interpolate to. I kind of slow motion, but it doesn't really work that well. And also the low light performance has been increased as well. But enough about the C100 Mark 1s, let's jump into the C100 Mark 2. So the big draw factor for the C200 is the 4K 12-bit raw output. Now this is absolutely insane. A 256 gigabyte CFast card can fit half an hour of 4K 12-bit raw footage. So if you think about that, a one terabyte hard drive can only fit two hours of footage off this camera. And now we think about that practically, that literally makes no sense. Like why would you want to use up one terabyte of hard drive space just to get two hours of footage? Like, like that is absolutely going to kill my backup system. But moving to the future, if it's something they want to start offering as a company, then all we need to do is put a CFast card in here, change a few settings, and then we're ready to go. The 4K internal 8-bit codec was another draw card as well. At the moment with the C100s, the max we can do is a 1080. I have actually sometimes done a 1080 upscale to 4K, but I'm not here to bore you with a whole bunch of technical jargon about this camera. If you are interested, then I'll link the Canon website below and you can check out all the specs yourself. Um, but the main reason for this video, I just wanted to share with you guys my excitement and my achievement for being able to get this camera. Like, this is something inside of my wildest dreams. Like, I could never imagine getting this camera this soon in my journey. Like, it's something that I would have thought maybe in another two, three, four years time that I would then upgrade to. Um, Cause it was, just, it was just, it was just way out of my price range. It was just way out of where I wanted to be. But thankfully I've had a lot of support from all my clients, you know, close friends and family in what I'm doing. And I am able to, you know, make a full-time income from the videos that I make just for my clients, which is, you know, something that is absolutely amazing. And, and again, like leaving school, going to uni, I never thought that I would actually be doing this full time, but, and I guess this is a bit of a testimony to the last few years of the hard work I've been putting in. It's kind of, it's kind of like a video to myself to show me how much I've actually achieved and where I've come from, where I'm at right now, and you know, what, what lies into the future. And I'm super excited for what's coming out. But uh, yeah, to finish off the video guys, I'll do some sick cinematic b-roll of this camera to show you guys just kind of the stuff that's around it. But get keen for some amazing videos in the future because this baby is about to get put to work. <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below kind of what you're up to, where you're at in your journey and kind of where you want to be or, or where you want to go to. I'd love to know kind of where you are right now and where you think you're going or where you want to go to. And if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single time I release a new video. And as always, happy filmmaking and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. And now I have to put it all away and go to, like, back to work and not play with it.